Welcome to 1080p Macro Time. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Paul Axel A5. When you get this knife, you have a very soft leather sheath, single stitched, as you can see there, and it is made out of one piece of leather. It has a Benchmade logo on it as well. You're going to be purchasing this knife because of the actual knife itself, and not all their sheath. So you have a ivory micarta scale on here. Not to be confused with actual ivory, this does not include anything from an elephant, it is just the color of the scale. You have the Paul name on the actual opening mechanism as well as pivot. Torque screws to hold on the scale. You can also get this in, I believe, carbon fiber and maybe a G10 in wood. I'm not really sure what Benchmade had on these. There's the button to open the knife. It's very interesting how you open it. I'll show that in a second. Centering on here. Looks dead center to me. Not to you guys. Yep, looks very nice to me. Open it up by pushing down on this button like that. Holding on this part and just rotating the pivot. Have a nice... Warncliffe, or yeah, I guess that would be a Warncliffe style. Inch made 250. These are no longer being made, they were only made for like a year or so, and then were discontinued due to it being too hard to produce for bench made. Um, I think they, I talked to them and they said it takes, or it took like three to four times as long to make one of these knives as it did for others. So os 8A, the patent number. See how thick that blade is. Absolutely no jimping on it. It is more of a gentleman's knife. Not on here. Flow through design. Pillar. Well, one, two pillar construction, I guess. that in the hand right hand left hand closing push down right there do that a lot of people will actually want to do almost a spire drop action hold it by the pivot and push that down There you go, that is the Benchmade Axle A5. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.